efficiency of appliances. Efficiency is a common idea to understand how efficient of an appliance is. But before we go to the equation, we must have the more clear concept about the efficient means and how does the energy travel. You can see that in the electrical appliances, there must be some power input, we call the P-in, and some power output. However, there is also some power loss in most of the time. So you can see that according to this diagram, the power in will be equal to the power out and the power loss. This is the idea of conservation of energy. So similarly, if we're not considering power, but we consider the energy, I think it is more familiar with all of us. So the same idea will appear. The input energy goes to the electrical appliances and some energy are useful and some energy was lost. So the total energy input will be equal to the total energy output and the energy output involve those useful outputs and the lost. Now this relationship is important. Now we will see how we will use it. Now let's come back to the definition of the efficiency first. This is the easy equation because you learned it when you're very young. The efficiency is the useful output over the total input. Sometimes we will multiply it to 100% so that we can get the value with the percent. And the uh, efficiency, we can write in this way, the power output over the power in. Now let's recall the idea uh, because the power in is actually the total power output. That means the useful power output plus the power loss. So this equation can also be rewritten in this way. Now sometimes it's useful for us because the question may not explicitly tell us the power input. Then we can use the power out and the power loss to get back the power in. And sometimes we can use the energy input times efficiency, then we can get the useful energy output. So we should able to combine the idea of energy in equals to the energy out plus the energy loss with the equation of efficiency. Now let's take a look with the following example. Now we have a electric kettle with a certain rating value and the efficiency is also given. We want to know how long it takes to heat up the water to the boiling point. In this case, we should aware that we should consider the energy. And because we are boiling the water, so E equals to MC delta T, we should be familiar with it. And the one important trick is to use the PT to substitute the energy. And now, because we know the power in, we have the efficiency, so we have to rearrange the equation in this way. And the very important habit is to substitute the efficiency in terms of a decimal number rather than a percentage, so that we can easier to handle when we press the calculator. And so we can find the part A and solve it easily. And part B, uh, state two reasons why the efficiency is not 100. Actually, it's simple because we know that the energy lost to the surrounding. But besides this point, anymore, uh, when we heat up the water, actually, it's not just the water will be heated up, the kettle will also be heated up. So the other kind of energy loss is to raise the temperature of the kettle. So these are the two reason. And then, how about the cost of electricity? We have talked about it in the previous section. And once again, we have to find out how much energy used 
in terms of the kilowatt hour first. So how much energy is used? Now when we consider the energy used, what we need to consider the power is just the rated power because this is the power in and also the total power out actually the same. So we have to choose the correct power to do so. And then the if we're able to find the total energy involved, which is 0.14 kilowatt hour, then the cost of the electricity is just straightforward.